Hey boys, this is your dad. This is my daily quote for you. Quitting. Sometimes you need to change direction. Patience and motivation are not always the best answer. Let's dig deep into this one because I think there's a lot to it. All right. Uh, first, there, there's this idea that you can motivate yourself to success. Now, don't get me wrong, motivation is one of the components, but I really feel also our skills and daily habits. Now, what I found over time is that we were all born with this knowledge on how to motivate ourselves. This idea of what you should do or how to push yourself or even when to walk away, you have all those answers. You just have to listen to your gut and have faith. Now, you may lack the skill, which is true, but skill is something you can develop. The lessons in life lie in the learning and by teaching what you've been taught. Now, along the path of learning, you may start considering or even thinking, can I really do this? Is this something I, I can handle? Uh, you might get overwhelmed and then even start having doubt and then start considering the word quit. Now, let me give you an example. In 2005, I quit computer engineering. I was 18. Uh, when you go to college, I went to Cal Poly, you know that. When I went to Cal Poly, they make you declare a major before you get there. You, you really can't ask someone at that age who has no life experience, what do you want to do the rest of your life? Where do you want to plant your flag? And where are you going? We, we don't have the experience yet. So I got to Poly, did that for three months, computer engineering, and I realized I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend the rest of my life behind a computer sitting down coding. So I changed my major. Now Cal Poly makes it very hard for you to change your major. In order to change your major, you have to have, you have, to have a 4.0 or above. So I had to bust my ass. I had to get on the Dean's list. And after my first quarter, after achieving a 4.0, I switched my, my, my major to business entrepreneurship, right? So, see. I don't, I don't think quitting is just something you can do. You kind of have to justify it. Here are my guidelines to quitting. I tell myself I can't quit something based on fear, laziness, or if I know it's going to benefit me as a person, as a whole. Now, when something falls outside of those guidelines, I can start to justify the word quit. And by that, I mean I might be on the wrong path. I might be on the wrong trail. And if I'm chasing after something that's just not working for me, period, I can quit. I did, and it opened up other doors. And so sometimes I feel quitting is necessary to find your place in this world. Let, let me give you another example. In 2007, I came back home from college with great ambition, right? I lost most of my friends because they're in college, and I came back to do financial services not really having any finances of my own. And let me tell you, I crashed and I burned. It wasn't pretty. I failed miserably. But what I learned from that failure was that I wanted to help people, that I learned how to talk to strangers and have them believe in me and my purpose. And I learned how to speak in front of large groups of people. I had to fail, then quit. When I exhausted that resource and I realized I had no business, telling people how to, how to manage their finances. And that's when I used those skills to open up ultimate martial arts and a park and under degree weather next to a trash can. Then it, then it got hot and we moved to a bowling alley. People saw something special in me. So we kept growing and people started taking notice and we moved to an actual physical location. And then the process kept going, right? Learning, adapting, growing, learning, adapting, and growing. And I wouldn't be talking to you today because I had to go out and write my own failures and my own future. None of that was given to me. So in conclusion, sometimes quitting is the answer. Changing your direction is the answer. Quitting causes you to go a different direction that you might not have normally gone, and that's okay. Personally, I never thought I was going to run a martial arts school. I, I, I love martial arts. It impacted my life and it changed my life. I personally thought I was going to have a different company and I would do martial arts as something with a passion, right? Now, the craziest thing about my life is that I live my passion. I inspire others. I teach others. But now I develop, I'm developing a team to do the same thing. So I'm now motivating my team 
and being their mentor and having them lead others. It's the craziest life cycle and path I've ever decided to go on to, but honestly the most beneficial. I would have never opened that door if I didn't close the other ones. So quitting's not always a bad option, but just make sure you know if it's your option. All right, boys, I love you. Hope you're having a good day.